In this video, we are going to see how to convert a file in Cloud Convert and upload the files on Google Drive. So let's say that you are using Google Sheets as a spreadsheet where you have kept all the URLs of the files where let's say they are in MP4 format and you want to convert them into MP3 format. This is just an example. So you are using Cloud Convert for the same. This is an online file converter and then you wish to upload them on Google Drive once converted. How can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate these three applications and the same can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action applications would be Cloud Convert and Google Drive. Now, how can this be done? How can you automate and integrate this entire process to understand that? Let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, it has taken us to the landing page of the software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to sign up and it is absolutely free, won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now since I already have an account, I'm going to click on sign in. And now it has taken me to the all applications page. Now here we have to click on access now for Pabli Connect. Here you can see we have reached the dashboard of this application. So let's click on create workflow this tab on the right hand side and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now I wish to convert a file in Cloud Convert and upload the files to Google Drive. So first I'm going to get the information from Google Sheets then I'm going to go to Cloud Convert and then finally Google Drive. So this is my integration. Okay, Google, uh, Google Sheets, Cloud Convert to Google Drive integration. Let's click on Create. As we do that, we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is Trigger and another one is Action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action is the response of our trigger event. So here my first application is going to be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And now come the trigger event. This is the event that will make your workflow start. Here it would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now you can see that we have received a webhook URL. I'm going to copy this. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. Now we have to follow the following steps. So I'm going to exactly show you what you have to do. So once you have copied this, let's go to the Google Sheet that we have created. The name is Cloud Convert Files. There is only one sheet, sheet one. These are the column fields, name, file type, and file link. So what I've done is through Google Drive or through WooCommerce, you can get the link of the file that you wish to upload and then convert. Now you have to go to extensions, then go to add-ons, then go to get add-ons. As soon as you are there, you have to download an application, Pabli Connect Webhooks. This one. Let's click on this. Now here you can see that this has already been installed on my system. So I do not have to do it again. Please do this if you haven't installed it yet. Now once done, let's close this. Go back to extensions and here you can see Pabli Connect Webhooks, then Initial Setup. Let's click on this. And here you can see that it has selected the sheet and now here we are supposed to paste the URL. So I'm going to copy this once again go back and I'm going to paste it over here. Now the trigger column. Trigger column will be your final data column on which the data is added. So here the trigger column would be C. Let's write C and now I'm going to click on send test. As soon as I have done that here we can see test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to just close this, go back to extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks and here you can see send on event. We have to Click on this so that it can be selected. So now here you can see that you can see a tick mark in front of it. Again, go to initial setup and I'm just going to quickly submit. Now I'm going to go to Pabli Connect and here you can see that we have received the API response. 
So I have received the name of the video, file type, the link, spreadsheet name, ID, sheet name, etc. Now I wish that this particular file should be converted and I'm going to use the application Cloud Convert. So let's look for Cloud Convert. Here that is. Let's select the action event. I wish to convert a file, the format. Let's click on connect. Again here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Cloud Convert account. For this, let's click on add new connection and connect with Cloud Convert. I've already logged into my Cloud Convert account and here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once done, here we have to map the file URL, input format, output format and file name. So first of all, file URL. So I'm going to map this information. Mapping basically means that I've already received this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve the information. Go to Google Sheets and here is the file link. So let's click on this. Once done, the input format. So this is an MP4 format. And now I wish this to be an MP3 format. That would be my output format. So MP3 is what I'm going to select. Now the file name. Again, the file name here would be new video. But here you can see that you have to provide a file name for the output file, including the extension. So I'm going to write dot MP4. Now let's click on save and send test request. Here you can see that we have received this information. This is the data ID name and uh, I have received everything, but I haven't yet received the URL. I haven't received the exact URL of the uh, video link. I have only received the job ID. So in this case, I'm going to add another action step. Again, I'm going to select the application cloud convert and this time the action event would be Let's click on this. It would be get job details because we have the job ID. Let's click on connect. I'm going to select the existing connection. Let's click on save. And now here we have to map the job ID. Let's go to this, go to step two. And here if I take you down, so this is your job ID. Let's click on this and save and send test request. Once we have done that, here you can see if I take you down. So this is your URL. Once we have received this, now our next task is to send this file or just transfer this file. Now our next task is to upload this file on Google Drive. So my next application here would be Google Drive. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to upload a file. This one, let's click on connect. And again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Drive account. Here I'm going to click on add new connection, then connect with Google Drive. I've already logged into my Google Drive. I just have to select the account. So once done, let's authorize it. Let's click on continue. Here we can see that the authorization has been successful. And here we have to copy the URL, basically map the URL. So I'm going to click on this, go to step three, and here we have to look for the URL that we have received. This is the URL. Then the folder ID. Now to receive this folder ID, I'm going to take you to my drive. And now here you can see Cloud Convert. This is the folder that I've created. Let's open this. And now this is your drive ID. I'm going to copy this. Go back to Public Connect and paste it over here. Once I've pasted here, you can see we have to only provide this number, which is after folders. Basically, this number has to be provided. So I'm going to delete this entire thing. Once done, the file name. So, so let's go to the step three. So this is the file name new video.mp4. Let's click on this and now save and send test request. So now here we can see that we have received the API response, which means that this particular video must now be a part of our drive. So now I'm going to take you to my drive and here let's go back and I'm going to just refresh this page once, go back to cloud convert. And here we can see that new video.mp4 is now a part of this, which basically means that this entire integration process is a success. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to my Google Sheet and here I'm going to attach another file. So first I'm going to take you to my WordPress account, go back and this time let's say that I want this particular file. So I'm going to open this, copy URL to clipboard, go back to my Google Sheet, paste this here 
and the name of the video is php and this is again video type so the moment this is done what should happen so first this file should be converted and then go to my google drive and here we can see that yes this particular file has been uploaded which means that this entire process is a success going back to public connect let's quickly understand the entire process so the first application was google sheets this was our trigger application the trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row the action application was cloud convert where we had chosen the action event as convert a file next we had cloud convert and again here we had chosen the event as get job details and finally the action application was google drive where the event was upload a file i hope this is very much clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to this workflow the same workflow is there in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any suggestion or advice you can always write to us i hope this was helpful to watch more such videos you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on youtube if you have any queries you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans then you can visit us at this particular site do not forget to like share and subscribe if you have liked this video